Ah, six figures. For some, the holy grail. For others, the goal shrouded in mystery. For some, the number that feels exciting. And for others, a number that feels unattainable. Whatever your feelings on earning six figures in your business and more, I want us to have a conversation about this today because I want you to know how available this is to you. You see, I happen to know a thing or two about creating a six-figure business and, most importantly, doing so without sacrifice, hustle, or overwhelm, doing so while showing up as the kind of present mother that I want to be. Not only have I been earning six figures and more for a good while now, I mean years, but I have helped many women cross that line too, and they've done it in a way that works for them. No cookie cutter strategies around these parts, ew. So join me today while we talk about the new way to earn six figures, the feminine energy way, and more specifically, I'm sharing my top 10 shifts to help you shift out of the outdated masculine energy model that hasn't been serving you anyway, and into the feminine energy flow. Are you ready to flow your way to six figures and beyond, my love? I thought so. Let's do this. You're listening to the Limitless Mother podcast. I'm your host, Corey Javid, money mindset expert, success coach, mother, tea drinker, energy obsessed, manifester, afternoon bath lover, and thought leader in financial empowerment for mums. I know that we get to be successful because we are mothers, not in spite of it. And so around here, we do things differently. I've torn up the business rule book and created a new paradigm for us, one in which we create results using energy instead of effort. I'm on a mission to help you ditch the old way of creating success. You know the one where you work hard, hustle, and sacrifice. Ew. (laughs) And instead, teach you how to increase your impact and income without increasing your hours and how to manifest your dreams. So, if you're a mother who's ready to learn how to elevate your energy to start making bank and start living your limitless life, this is your podcast, my love. And I'm your new biz bestie. Join me as we explore what's possible for us as mothers and business owners when we remove the limits. Hello, hello, limitless mothers. How are you doing? It's your self proclaimed business bestie here, Corey Javid from CoryJavid.com. How are you, my love? I hope you're having a fabulous week. I hope you're enjoying Feminine Energy Month as much as I am. I have been absolutely adoring the comments and the DMs and emails that I get from you. I mean, I, every time I do anything feminine energy related on the podcast, I always get lots of you getting in touch and saying how much you enjoyed it, which just makes my day and also makes my team's day because there's lots of people behind the scenes here. Shout out to everybody who makes this podcast possible. And there's lots of people here who always love to hear that there's been some great feedback. So um, we really appreciate it when you share that with us. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. And let's keep rolling with the feminine energy, or I should say flowing with the feminine energy. And today's installment is the final episode in Feminine Energy, the Feminine Energy Quartet. There's been four. (laughs) Um, And I just, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it. But I've got lots of juicy content coming up next month, of course, as always. So today we're going to be talking about the feminine energy of earning six figures. And specifically, I'm sharing with you my top 10 shifts so that you can make these shifts and earn that moolah for yourself in a fun, feminine, flowy kind of a way. Doesn't that sound good? Can't wait to get into this topic. So, so good. Oh, by the way, if you want the fast track to the feminine energy flow vibes and the feminine energy way of doing business, then you should probably be on the waiting list for the Elevated Abundance Mastermind. Doors are literally about to open for enrollment, and I would hate for you to miss out, my love. People on the waiting list are going to have first dibs at spaces and, of course, exclusive access to a juicy discount. If you don't want to miss out, this is probably the last and final warning to get your buns over to the waitlist. CoryJavid.com forward slash elevate, sign up, find out more. 
And who knows, you and I could be talking soon about whether or not the Elevated Abundance Mastermind is the best next step for you and whether or not you are a great fit for it. It's very easy and breezy. We just have an informal chat. I'm very good at reading energy. I'm really good at bringing together the right women for this kind of a collective. So yes, anyway, if you want to be maybe speaking to me soon about that and sooner than anyone else might have the chance, then you want to get on the wait list, corriejabbit.com forward slash elevate and there should probably be a handy dandy link there in the description of this here podcast episode so let's get to it by the way I normally give you an update what's been going on over here but I'm actually recording this one more in advance than I normally would and I recorded one for you earlier today and so I feel like I've already updated you even though that won't really be your experience on receiving this although the thing that I've done since recording that episode and now is I collected my daughter from school and we had a cup of tea and some chocolate together and then we collected up 10, count them, 10 of her stuffed rabbits. Yep, she loves a bunny. And um, I hid them around the house and she had to find them. We did a bunny hunt just because, why not? Because it's a Friday and we like to have a laugh like that. So um, that's what's been going on over here. And so, okay, let's get to it. Six figures. First of all, first of all, before we get into the feminine energy of earning six figures, I really want to tell you why I'm talking about this particular amount of money, six figures. So one is that it's just quite a kind of neat round number, £100,000, or maybe it's dollars where you are. It's something that, yes, gets kind of like, I don't know, held up as if it's some sort of pinnacle of success in the online space. I don't really see it that way. Yes, it's an achievement. Absolutely, that should be celebrated if you get there. But it's a good amount of money. And one of the one of the reasons why I really love helping women to build six-figure businesses specifically is because once you get to six figures, you're like, oh, it wasn't actually that hard. (laughs) And I I feel like it's very expansive because at that point, there's an up-leveling that happens, not just because you've hit that target amount of money, but you're like, oh, I really understand now the kind of energetics that operate at this level. And, And I think that to get to, specifically to get to six figures, without hustle, overwhelm, and burnout, because you know that's just not what we do here, while probably working part-time, while doing work that lights you up, you see how possible it is. And you're like, oh, if I can make six figures working, say, I don't know, 15, 20 hours a week, whatever it is that you like to work, um, and while having time off for myself, having time out for my family, enjoying what I do, having spare time, not feeling like I'm just in the business all the time, mentally or physically, then you're like, oh, then there's literally no amount that I can't earn. And so that's why I really like it. It's because there's just something that falls into place. I've noticed at that point, that kind of last piece of like understanding and like energetic shift that occurs that just makes any amount feel possible and achievable, specifically when you've created it on your terms. Now, I'm perfectly aware that there are many people out there who have created six figures through the kind of hustle route and then get really burned out at that point or just soon afterwards and then feel tapped out and like they don't understand how they can actually grow their business because they've done it all on the back of like their sacrifice and their time and their energy and they're feeling depleted. And so that's why I absolutely love talking about not just earning six figures, but earning it in this way, in the way that we like to earn it around here, right, my love? In that feminine energy way, using energy instead of effort, because it's just a really nice milestone. And like I said, it just triggers that kind of understanding at an energetic level. Oh, if I did this, I feel like I can pretty much do anything. (laughs) So that's why I'm really passionate about helping mothers who are business owners specifically to not just hit six figures, but hit it in the way that they want to, in their unique flavor and vibe. That's the thing that gets me excited and leaping out of bed. So um, the other th- the other reason why I was excited to bring you this episode is because, as you know, I've celebrated it on the show before, but I very recently had... Um, A couple of my clients crossed that six-figure line, um, and I have 
more, several more right now. I mean, I've helped people in the past cross that line, but just recently I've been celebrating these two specifically, but I have several more right now who are really hot on their heels. And like I can see, because because I've helped many women do this now and I've done it myself as well, obviously. Um, I can just always tell when somebody's like just on the cusp of it. And there's some who are like on the cusp of like really it clicking into place and that kind of whoosh happens. Um, and also I have a couple of clients particularly that I'm thinking of who they already know it's happening for them. They don't really need to do anything. It's just kind of keep showing up for a couple more months and they'll cross that six figure line, um, which is just a lovely position to be in. So anyway, I'm just sharing this off with you as evidence because I don't work, say, for example, only with coaches because I think there can be a misconception that, oh, it's easier as a coach to earn more money. Not true. Um, with women with a variety of different businesses, some service-based, some product-based, like all manner. And, you know, I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I absolutely categorically believe, my love, that your business can be scaled to six figures and beyond. You just need to believe in it. You need to be expanded energetically and you need to have the, well, we're going to talk about the top 10 shifts that can get you there in that feminine energy way. But yes, even your business, yes, even in your circumstances, yes, even in your niche and industry. <laughs> I've had so many. Um, and anytime I mention it on the show, I quite often, if I have any um, women working with me who are newer or even people who maybe have done limitless money, um, who I've been in touch with, etc., I often will have a little spate of people going, okay, then I know that you've said that, but I truly believe that for my <laughs> business or that it's not, that it's not true. And I love that because I, I always accept the challenge and I'm like, okay, we can map out a way for you here, done. <laughs> and they're like, oh, is that it? It's that easy. I'm like, yes. Um, it's simple in, in terms of business. Let's just talk about this very quickly. And this isn't the point of today's show. We're going to get into the feminine energy of it. But the thing is, is actually earning six figures mathematically in your business, business model wise and strategically, it's actually very simple more often than not, right? Obviously, it depends on your kind of business model and what you want to do, but it's often very simple. But what doesn't feel simple is showing up for that, believing in it, taking the kind of courageous action or leaps or doing some of the hard things that are required to make that simple plan a reality. That can be the thing. And that's the kind of the belief and everything that goes with it and the energy that you bring to the plan that makes the plan go like gangbusters or not. So anyway, um, I just really wanted to say that. And I know that can feel really frustrating to hear because I know I, I would have felt frustrated hearing that when six figures felt like some kind of holy grail for me that I was really putting on a pedestal and believing that there was some kind of silver bullet or magic pill and that everybody was withholding the answers from me. And when they would say, it's actually very easy to get six figures, I'd want to kind of poke their eyes out. So... <laughs> If you're wanting to poke my eyes out, can't because I'm here behind, safely ensconced behind my podcast microphone. Um, <laughs> but, but I all that just to say, I get it. But I also want you to hear it that it can be that straightforward. But if you don't have your energy and your mindset on board, it's not going to happen. So I've done other episodes on the podcast before about earning six figures and my experience. Um, so if it feels good afterwards, do you go back through the archives, dig those out and have a re-listen or a listen for the first time if you're newer around here. Um, and let's get into this, shall we? So let's start with where you are. Maybe you feel well on your way to earning six figures and you actually want to smash this and, and go beyond. Maybe you are, don't feel like you're on your way, but you really like desire six figures. Maybe you are in that camp of not believing like six figures is possible for you. We should totally talk. I mean, if you want to earn six figures um, and believe it's possible, or if you don't believe it's possible, either way, we should probably talk, right? <laughs> this is my jam. <laughs> um, or maybe you feel like you're in that camp that I used to be in all those um, years ago where I felt like there was some kind of missing key. Maybe you are really in that cycle of believing that the answer is in some kind of strategy. And if you could only find the person with the right strategy to mimic and apply it to your business, then you'd be golden. I get it. I've been there. I just know that it's not the thing. It's not the truth, right? And actually trying to mimic somebody else's strategy, trying to use somebody else's way so often fails because it doesn't take into account us and our strengths and our energy and our mindset, right? So anyway, regardless of where you are, my love, I really want you to earn six figures because I want you to have that, ex first of all, I want you to have plenty of money, right? I want you to have as much money 
as you need to do things that make you feel free in life. And I want you to feel financially empowered. And that can come from really understanding that you are the creator of your own abundance. You know, I've talked about before that financial security does not come from a number in the bank. It doesn't come from, oh, a savings pot of five grand or 50 grand or this, that or the other. It comes from that inner knowledge that you are the creator of your own abundance and knowing that you can always create and receive more. When that really falls into place, it's such a gift. That's why teaching women how to sell, which is something that I do, you know, um, with anybody who works with me in my mastermind or one-to-one who needs that support is such like, is such a favorite thing of mine to do because when you have the mindset and the energy in place to price right, to sell with ease and confidence and alignment, you understand that you're the creator of your own abundance, right? And that's one of the skills that you need to master along the way. We're not going to be talking about skills today. We're going to be talking about energetic shifts, of course. Um, but I am going to be fairly soon talking a lot more about sales and selling on the podcast. So listen out for that. But my point being that to get to six figures, you have to master certain skills, but you most importantly, you have to master the mindset and the energy. And that is the thing that will stand you in good stead, like forever, like no one can take that away from you, right? Once you get it, once you've latched onto it, once you've tapped into that vibe, you know how to do it again. You can always do it again on repeat. And really my thing is like financial empowerment. I want you to feel empowered to be able to buy whatever it is that you want to buy without ha- feeling guilty, without feeling like you shouldn't, without needing to ask somebody else's permission or whatever might be true, right? I want you to feel like you can have really rich experiences, whether that's holidays or time off or spa days, whatever that looks like for you. I want it all for you, my love. I want you to like live your damn life and live it large, <laughs> live your limitless life, right? Um, and now six figures is a good, you know, starting point. And like I said, it's really, it's not about the actual sum of money. It's about Um, what's required of you as a person and energetically to get there if you get there in this way, if you get there in the way of refusing to hustle, of refusing to sacrifice and sticking to your non-negotiables and your boundaries and doing it in a way that feels really good to you and that you enjoy it all the way along the way, that experience of creating six figures in that way, that's where the magic happens. And that's just like being one of the best experiences for me in many ways in my business, just because I had that moment of like, oh, I get it. And now no one can ever take that away from me. So if my business blew up tomorrow, I can build another six figure business plus six figure plus business, right? No big deal. And I can build it quicker next time. (laughs) So obviously I would be disappointed. I say no big deal, but but I have that kind of knowledge within me that, oh, I did it once, I can do it again. That's why I want it for you. So I feel like I've said my piece. So <laughs> six figures, whether it's your goal or not, that's why I want you to like, just get down with it today as a number. And I really, if you, if you feel like it's not possible for you, I really want you to start embracing the idea that it could be because I think otherwise that's limited thinking, right? We're limitless around here. So let's get into it. Yes, you need a strategy. Yes, you need the mindset, but you need the energy, especially if you're going to create it in the feminine energy way, which is what we're talking about, which is what we're here to do. So let's get into these top 10 shifts, shall we? Okay. And I've spent, I spent a long time thinking about this because, and before I brought this to the show, and this is why this was the last um, episode in, um, Feminine Energy Month, because I really wanted to distill down the feminine energy that I've used in both like creating my first six figures, but then creating, you know, um, multiples of six figures since then if revenue total in my business. Um, And especially like I really, really lent into my energy in a feminine energy in an even bigger way in 2020, because I felt like that's what I was being called to do by circumstances. And so I kind of really wanted to distill down what what I'd learned about feminine energy through specifically that experience of working even less um, and and earning that kind of money in an even more flow-based and feminine feeling way, Um, as well as like having now helped like several women cross the six figures line and and several more be well on their way to it. Uh, I just really wanted to kind of like distill it down into things that you can really take hold of and go away and implement today in your life, whether or not you have that six-figure goal in mind. I'm not going to tell you what your goals should be, um, even though I just did (laughs) 
<laughs> I just said like, here's why I want you to. But like, you know, here's why I want you to believe this is possible for you and, and know it is and feel like you can go after it if you decide to. But you can apply this to any kind of stretch financial goal really in your business. But um, but I've taken these lessons specifically from my experience of earning six figures in a feminine energy way and my client's experience too. So let's get to it. Shift number one, you need to shift out of the struggle, my love, and into support. There are no two ways about this. If you want to earn six figures or great money, whatever that looks like to you in your business without it coming at a real personal cost, without it meaning more hours away from your family than you are comfortable with, without it meaning feeling burnt out all the time and overwhelmed. You just have to get on board with the idea that you need support. Stop trying to go it alone, my love. The It is possible to make six figures doing it solo. It won't be fun though. I can tell you that <laughs> categorically, right? So shift out of the struggle and into support whatever that support looks like for you. It could look like getting some childcare support. It could look like getting some more support around the home. It could look like getting um, some coaching to support, to so support you with your mindset and growth. It could look like getting the support of a group of women. It could look like all manner of things, but really being supported and allowing yourself to be supported and feeling worthy of support is absolutely key if you want to earn six figures in a feminine energy way, my love. You know, I've talked about before that queenly feminine energy. That's the kind of vibe that we're channeling here. And there's no queen just there on her throne doing everything herself, right? She allows herself to be supported because she has her job to do. Be queen. So, um, I don't mean like the queen. I have like in my mind some kind of like, I don't know, sort of goddess, sort of maybe slightly like an ancient queen. I don't mean ancient like old, but like, you know, she's wearing lots of gold and <laughs> she's like very powerful and beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> let's crack on. Shift number two is shift out of yes and into no. So being willing to say no to the wrong opportunities, the wrong people or clients that just aren't quite right, that your intuition is screaming no to, even though they're waving some good money in your face. Saying no to commitments and overburdening yourself and your to-do list. Saying no to that thing that feels like you should be doing it, but it's not in alignment with your desires and what you really want to be doing and where you really want to be going. Shift out of yes, my love. Start using the word no with more intention and more force sometimes. Mm. Now, this might seem kind of counterintuitive because I think there's a perception that feminine energy is very sort of submissive and that's not so. Again, just always go back to channel that the queen within you, the kind of like regal queen that um, is more than happy to say no as, as easily as she will say yes. And so, you know, for example here, the willingness to like leave money on the table is actually one of the ways that you do get to six figures in a way that feels in alignment and in integrity to you. I've had so many instances of clients who on their journey to six figures, one of the things that's kind of become um, clear to them is that they weren't really being true to themselves in their business in terms of what they really wanted to be offering or how they really wanted to be talking about what they do or the kind of position that they really want to occupy and they're kind of trying to be a bit too vanilla or fit a little bit too much to what they think people want from them rather than going from like what's true to them and then having of course clients, customers come to them who just aren't quite a perfect fit. And if you are willing to leave money on the table, if you're willing to say no to that person who has money right there in front of you and is wanting to pay you because it's not in alignment with what you want to be doing, that is so powerful. That's a massive, powerful message to the universe of, no, this is not in alignment with my desires and I trust that I get to have what I desire. It's a real vote of confidence in yourself, your self-worth. And so it's really actually highly magnetic. So when I've witnessed this with clients, we've got that clarity and they've used their feminine energy to step into 
and occupy whatever space it was that they were kind of holding back from, whether that was in marketing, their products, the kind of clients they want to work with, whatever. It's really interesting. Often you get tested at first. Someone will come to you that's in the old way of doing things or an opportunity that's that's kind of not in alignment, an opportunity basically to say no and to leave money on the table and in that moment trust that more, either you've just opened up space for more to come to you in a way that actually fits you. Um, and pretty much every single time, it's very quickly followed by, and now here's a perfect client, happy to pay that sum of money or more, um, or there's another opportunity or sales are made in a different and better and more aligned way. I see it happen again and again and again. We really manifest from our boundaries. And so one aspect of the feminine energy of earning six figures is shifting out of yes and into no. The third shift is shifting out of lack and into abundance. I mean, this is, should be kind of obvious, but it needs to be said. The shoestring approach to making six figures, the kind of scrimping and saving, yeah, totally possible. But again, it's going to feel much harder It's going to feel much more like hustle versus making strategic and wise and trusted investments at different points. That could be time, that could be resources or money. Um, Paying for the quality version of something rather than the kind of make do thing that's actually a false economy. You know, the kind of thing I'm saying. I'm not saying you need to start sort of spending with abandon, don't misunderstand me, but just approaching your business as if it is a business that deserves investment and requires investment, feeling worthy of investing in your business and in yourself by extension. Um, It's the way of embracing, it's one of the ways of embracing your feminine energy, actually, because a feminine I, I believe that the energy of abundance is a very feminine energy it's that energy of plenty and plenty for everyone so I could do a whole episode on this but I think like we're on the same page with this right so we can move on to the next one which is shift out of numbers and into meaning so there's a time and a place in our business for numbers, right? I I monitor metrics in my business and look at them from time to time, um, you know, and I have numerical goals sometimes as well, of course. But what I'm talking about here really is if you don't have meaning attached to your goals and where you're going in your business, and so because we're talking about six figures here, let's talk about this specifically. If you're just going after six figures because it seems like what people are doing or because you just believe that you'll finally feel successful when you get there or because you're looking for some kind of external validation, then when you get there, it's going to be empty, um, unfortunately. And so really the faster track as well and the more fulfilling attainment comes from actually having real and true meaning that aligns with your soul's desires when it comes to a specific numeric goal in your business. So don't just set a goal in your business for the sake of it. If you've ever done that before and not hit it, one of the reasons may well be that you just didn't uh, have the energetic tether attached to it. Does that make sense that you hadn't really hooked into it energetically speaking? It wasn't like turning you on. It wasn't making you feel really excited. It didn't elicit an emotional and feelings-based response in in you. And in which case, it's not compelling enough to get over your own BS. By the way, that's not like an attack. We all have BS. (laughs) I call myself out on my own BS all the time. In fact, just did that to my coach this morning. Um, But we need to be able to get over our own BS, right? And we need the meaning behind the thing that we are desiring going after to be more compelling than our fears. And so that's why that's so important. It's like for me, when I, you know, first came up with the goal of six figures in my first year of business, I just did it because I'd seen other people saying that they'd done it. And I was like, oh, well, if they've done it, I want to do it too. That looks cool. Hey, that, you know, it, everyone has their path. That was my path. Um, And then I became too attached to it, but it didn't have enough meaning to it. So I didn't make it happen in the timeline that I'd set for myself. Um, And then when I actually got down to it, I was like, really, what do I want this to mean to me? And I could go again into like a whole 
spiel about what I wanted it to mean to me. But in a nutshell, I really desired hitting six figures as a kind of way of feeling financially empowered myself. But then the thing that really brought it extra exciting meaning to me was, I don't want to just do this for me. I want to do this for me, for my daughter, as an example to her. But also, I just really, really, really want to teach this to women too. And I want to be able to understand it first. And here I am doing that, which is really quite cool. Didn't think about that just until just as I said it. So but do you see what I mean? I had that real energetic meaning attached to it. So important. And whereas with like a masculine energy vibe, it's just about the numbers like, hey, look at me, I did this. And it's just about the show and the external and not about actually what it means to you. Does that make sense? Okay, shift number five is shift out of chasing and into allowing. Mm. This is that lean back to receive type of vibe that I love to cultivate. I love talking about it with my mastermind ladies. Um, it's very easy to go chasing goals, results, and things in our business. But you know that's the masculine energy vibe, my love, right? And I know that actually it can feel almost triggering sometimes to allow yourself to lean back and be open to receive and maybe pull back on the amount of action that you're taking, pull back on the busyness, let things slide off of your to-do list. Now, I'm not saying we all sit around being lazy and never do anything. Don't misunderstand me. But there's a, a balance to be struck and we can use our feminine energy to find it so that we're not in that hustle mode. We're not like just in that kind of like flying by the seat of our pants all the time, like, ah, you know, like that cat giphy that I really like <laughs> where the cat is at the computer and its arms are going up and down really quickly and it's working working away we don't want to be we don't want to be channeling that vibe that's not the feminine energy route to six figures so you need to kind of channel that energy of allowing allow it to come to you yes take aligned action but also work on your energy so that you're magnetizing it to you and not chasing after it totally different energies when that one clicked for me it happened actually very quickly Shift number six is shift out of impatience, and it kind of follows on from the last one, and into surrender. When we feel really impatient around a goal, we're far too attached to it. We are gripping onto it too tightly. So if you feel like that about six figures or some other goal in your business right now, it's time to let go. It doesn't mean you have to stop desiring it or stop working towards it, but it means that you're not desperate for it. It's not that kind of thirsty feeling for it. That's a term that Jess Lively used to talk about with manifestation. And I used to, that really resonated with me, that feeling of like, but I'm thirsty for it. I need it and I need it now. When we feel like that, when we feel that impatience, it's because we believe that there is a gap that it's going to fill, that something remarkable will happen the day that we hit that goal. In this instance, we hit six figures and suddenly we will be, insert your thing here, complete, successful, valid, worthy, whatever. It's nonsense. That won't happen. You already are all of those things, right? Um, and so we really need to surrender. Surrender to how it happens, to what it looks like, to the path to it. Just shift out of that impatience and into surrender. Surrender is such a great feminine energy. You know it's my word of the year. Um, absolutely loving it. It's uh, it's challenging sometimes to surrender. I'm not going to lie. But really that was another aspect that helped me get to and, and cross the six figure line with ease and with such ease that I didn't even, I can't even tell you the day that it happened. I don't know. I was oblivious to it because I just was so sure at that point that it was going to happen and I'd let go. I wasn't gripping it too tightly and I wasn't strangling the energy of it and I just allowed it to come in. I was merrily over there doing my thing, enjoying myself in my business and my life and lo and behold, it came on in. Shift number seven is shift out of comparisonitis and into creativity. It's so easy, isn't it, with social media to be out there looking at what she is doing and, oh my goodness, what are they doing? And, oh, should I be doing this? And, oh no, my thing suddenly doesn't seem as good and I was actually quite happy with it before. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's so depleting. And really, it doesn't matter what somebody else is doing, what they're doing. It's been done now. Move on. <laughs> do, do whatever is coming up within you. And so that can be something that takes some work to trust that you do have the answers within you to get to six figures. It can take some support to get there to help somebody. You know, sometimes we need somebody to help us tease it out of us and trust it when we find it. 
But honestly, let me tell you, you do have that within you. You have access to the creativity, to the intuition, to the downloads from the universe, to the inspiration, that next step or that idea that doesn't seem totally connected. And then when you look back, oh, lo and behold, it was one of those really key things that you did. So this really, this is a massive part of using your feminine energy to create six figures in your business because it the feminine energy is really all about accessing that creativity and that intuition and trusting it and going with it. And it's actually a way more enjoyable uh, approach to business in my experience. It just feels like way more fun. So you get to have fun, by the way. Shh, don't tell everyone. We get to have fun on our way to six figures and beyond. Totally like the point here. Um, So the next time that you're thinking about earning more money in your business or how you are going to grow and scale your business. Stop looking outside of yourself, my love. Stop going to comparison. Shift to creativity and you will thank me, I promise you. Shift number eight is, oh, this is a big one, shifting out of fear and into empowerment. Now, here's the thing. We all feel fear we're human. It's a natural response, right? But it's what we decide to do with that fear that matters. If we let fear run the show, we're making fear-based decisions. That's just not the, going. it's not going to result in us achieving the things that we desire in business, right? But we must, we must listen to the fear, let it say its thing, let it have its minute, right? But then tuck it away and decide on your own without fear what you're going to do. Just don't let it drive the bus. <laughs> it can go and sit way at the back with the naughty kids, right? That's where I used to sit on the bus. I was one of those. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, when we're talking about shifting out of fear, I don't mean shifting out of fear and that it's possible to necessarily always get to some kind of place where you don't have fear, especially when you are building and growing a business and doing the things which, let's be real, feel hard. So when I talk about not hustling, not sacrificing, and not feeling overwhelmed, I never mean that we don't have to sometimes do hard things, which means getting out of our comfort zone. There's a very real distinction though, like I've talked about before, between struggling and doing hard things. They're very different. Struggling is, you know, really like often being in that holding pattern, not making progress, not being supported, you know, all of those things. Whereas doing something hard is like knowing that the step in front of you is in alignment with where you want to go. It's going to be key um, to you creating the success that you want, but it feels hard because it's scary and it's okay to do things that are scary, right? And so when I'm talking about shifting out of fear and into empowerment, it's about channeling, again, that really like regal, powerful, queenly energy and listening to the fear, saying, thanks, fear. I see what you're trying to do here. You're trying to keep me safe, but in doing that, I would probably also stay stuck. Yes, this thing in front of me could be a sales call, a presentation that you've got to do, getting visible online, sending an email. So it could be literally anything in your business. But the thing in front of you, it's about saying, but do you know what? I'm going to hear that fear, but I'm going to decide that I'm taking action that's in, a, or I'm doing the bold thing, or I'm getting my energy behind the thing that's in alignment with where I want to go. And I'm going to step into my power, my feminine power, and I'm going to do it anyway. And that's really the feminine energy of doing hard things. Do it supported. Speak to somebody first. Get a pep talk. Get guidance. Do whatever you need to do to feel supported in doing those hard things. Absolutely, because that's another aspect of the feminine energy of doing hard things. <laughs> but then choose empowerment and move forward with that bold, empowered energy. And now here's the thing. We don't have to be doing that all day, every day in our businesses. So let's be let's be real. It could be like one thing a week sometimes, or maybe even less, depending on like where you're at in your business and, and what you've got going on. But it's about not letting those things sit on your to-do list, not filling up your hours with the busy work and avoiding them or procrastinating or letting fear really take over and tell you that, you know, you shouldn't really do that thing or you shouldn't make that leap of faith or this, that, and the other and keeping you stuck and keeping you small. It's about taking charge of your 
energy, your thoughts, your beliefs, your feelings, and from there, your actions and your outcomes by shifting out of fear and into empowerment, my love. The ninth shift is shift out of sacrifice and into service. And this is a big one. So I think so many of us, because we are heart-centered people, we really actually enjoy the act of service. Like most of us build our businesses around wanting to help somebody with a particular thing, right? Like I want to help you make more money on your terms and without sacrifice. That that's my that's my thing. <laughs> that's why I'm here. It's because I really want to help you in that way. And you really want to help the people that you serve in your business, right? That's why we do what we do. However, I think too often we misconstrue service for sacrifice. And that mean, that can look like undercharging for what we do. That can look like allowing too much scope creep. You know, that person who's really taking the piss with the project that you're doing for them. And they're like, sorry, just, just one more thing. Would you also mind that, you know? This can look like allowing somebody to always be late on paying their invoices to you. This could look like putting in way more hours on something than is actually fair for you to be required to do. This can look like not investing in yourself at a point when you really need some kind of support. It can look like all sorts of things, but ultimately it comes down to you feeling like the only answer is for you to make a sacrifice to in order to show up for other people in some way. And this is something that we default to all too easily as women, but also as mothers. You know, we've talked about it before that we too often put ourselves at the back of the queue, at the bottom of the heap, and it can have a really detrimental effect on our perception of our worthiness. And so, um, you know, so often that can manifest in our businesses looking like us making sacrifices all over the shop, whether that's in our family life, within our business with clients, like up and down, it can start showing up and it really starts to deplete us energetically and makes it so much harder for us to actually move things forward and feel good while we're doing it. So I'd love you to shift out of sacrifice and actually draw the distinction between sacrifice and service. We can show up and serve our families in a really big way and still have boundaries and still have time for us. We can show up and serve our clients in a really big and powerful way and still have boundaries and still have time for the things outside of our business that are important to us. It absolutely is possible, but it's a really, really important distinction to make. So start asking yourself that question, like if especially at any point when you're feeling depleted, overwhelmed, too busy, or like earning six figures isn't possible for you, look out where am I sacrificing when actually I need to switch to a more boundaried service and, and I think it can really really serve you the other thing is in, in, in shifting into service and having your focus be service say in your business and how do I serve in a really big way that's only ever gonna and when I say service though always with boundaries right <laughs> with boundaries and bells on it <laughs> um the thing about focusing really on service in your business is that, I mean, a few things happen. One is if you are really focused on giving great service to your clients and customers, then of course, they're going to recommend you, your products, your services to their friends, their network, their um communities. So you get that really great ripple effect that happens. But also, when we focus on service as the route to achieving our goals, then we do it in that beautiful impact and income kind of married way. So this is why this one's kind of like a, a great um, double win on this shift. For example, when I started this podcast, I had no specific business-based intention with it. I knew that I would, of course, sell on the podcast because I was selling on live streams previously. Um, but I just thought it'd be a direct translation. But the reason why I set this podcast up, well, one of the key reasons why I just wanted to serve in an even better way. And I knew that as a mother and business owner, actually the podcast format is much more easy for you to consume. And so I wanted to um, help you out that way. And I also knew that a podcast format helps to kind of build more of a feeling of a, a more intimate relationship, you and I, isn't it? <laughs> I think so, because, you know, I think that I'm your business bestie. So, um, 
So that was my intention. It came really out of service. And the beautiful and wonderful um, bonus was that the podcast was actually really instrumental in me crossing that six-figure mark um, with ease. Um, But I didn't start the podcast from that place. So do you see that distinction? So actually, when we put service at the forefront as the thing that's leading us towards our goals always, and when we even sometimes take our eyes off the target in favor of just doing a really amazing job in a boundaried way um, of of the thing that we do, just serving the shit out of our people, then uh, it's so interesting how so often when we make that our core focus, then we just cross that six-figure mark with ease. And so that brings us to the last, my love, shift 10, shift out of busyness and into flow. Now, I know this one can feel challenging. (laughs) I get it because we are addicted to the busyness. We revere the busyness. We also don't feel that there's any option other than to be busy. And uh, let's be real, as mothers and business owners, we have a lot of demands on our time. Never going to dispute that. But when we can take a minute, take stock, zoom out, set our days up with intention allow space in our days and our weeks, which means sometimes claiming it, which means sometimes asking for it, my love, which comes right back to shift number one at the top, which is out of struggle and into support. But when we can carve out and protect and honor some time within our days or within our weeks, some spaciousness to be creative, to get into that flow state, to do that deep flow state work, to just sit and listen to our intuition, to spend time in flow. Our business always thanks us for it. We always come up with our best ideas from that space. The ideas that are the things that have that perfect intersection of what we do best, what our people need most, and therefore it's the most magnetic thing that we can do, right, and put out there into the world. When you just spend all day in reaction mode, getting up, looking at your phone and then cracking on with that really long to-do list, finishing the day, the to-do list isn't quite finished, more stuff got added to it, feeling fried, running around like a headless chicken, getting everything done. Like It's so easy to get into that pattern. I say it because I've been there. I say it with the utmost um, compassion. But when when we spend our days in that reactive, busy, busy, busy mode all the time, we don't have time to stop, to take stock, to be in our feminine energy, to experience working in a flow state, to allow space for creativity and inspiration to come in. And we can't then benefit from those gifts that are inside of us, from that energy that we have access to. We can't benefit from it and then channel it into our business. And we end up going the really long, really laborious route to our goals if we even get there. Sometimes we stop ourselves from getting there because we're like, oh, this feels just too hard. I'm done. I'm tapped out. And I hate it when I hear of that happening to people. And I'm like, no, come let me show you the feminine energy way. (laughs) Um, So yeah, so the last shift is that kind of ultimate really, because it's about creating space for this. You're not going to earn six figures using your feminine energy if you don't make space for it. (laughs) Simple fact, right? If you don't allow for it, if you don't factor it in to your days and weeks in some way, creating a bit of space just for you to sit and think, creating a bit of space to just mull things over and not cramming every single minute of the day with stuff. And it's amazing the clarity that comes. And like I said, the creativity, inspiration, those are all the things that guide us to earning any amount of money, but with so much more ease and speed. And you know, those are two of my favorite words. (laughs) Okay. So those were the top 10 shifts that you need, my love, if you want to be earning six figures, the feminine energy way. That's how we like to do things around here, is it not? These are the 10 shifts that I've made, that my clients have made or are in the middle of making, depending where they are on their journey. If you want some support, making these shifts, earning six figures and beyond, then you know I'm your girl, right? I'm your woman. Let's be honest. I'm not a girl. (laughs) I'm going to be 40 soon. Um, But I am your woman and I would love to support you with that. You know it's what lights me up. Head over to corriejavid.com forward slash elevate to sign up to the waiting list. Do not delay. This is the last and final call for waitlist signups, after which we are going to be very shortly opening for enrollment. But 
waitlisters get first dibs and exclusive discounts. Don't miss out, my love. CoreyJavid.com forward slash elevate. Doing business, money, all the things, the feminine energy way is what we do inside that mastermind. And I would love to have you in it. Um, if you enjoyed today's show and you want to find out more, you maybe just want to see a list of those feminine energy shifts. I'm going to just put them straight in the show notes for you. How about that? Head over to corriejavid.com forward slash podcast forward slash six figure F E. Six figure. So that's the number six figure F E. So that's for six figure feminine energy, but I thought that'd be too long of a link. And never forget, my love. Now, as always, you are limitless. Bye for now. Have you been enjoying today's show, my love? Then help your business bestie out. Head over to iTunes now and leave a review. The team and I pour our best energy into bringing you this show each week, and so it would make us so happy to see your review. Plus, we are known to surprise and delight our reviewers, so if you take a screenshot of your review before you hit submit and send it to team at I can guarantee a little treat will be winging its way to you.